So why is good communication important? What is important about having good communication? Oh. In the workplace, I mean, how many people have had to do something over because things were not communicated properly? Okay, yeah, all of us, right? And the fact is, in the workplace, that becomes an expensive proposition. Why are we paying people to do something all over again when it could have been done the first time? And one of the things we have to recognize is that in today's workplace, communication becomes even more important because let's face it, how many of us are wearing just one hat at work? Yeah, there, there's none of us left, you know. Most people are wearing more than one hat. So the workplace becomes more demanding, as does the communication environment around us. I mean, people pretty much expect communication to happen instantly, right? I mean, everybody else have one of these with them today? Okay, if not a smartphone, a cell phone, something that does texts. The speed of communication has increased over the years. It, I, I, I look at one of the starting points as the fax machine back in the 80s. You know, we can instantly get documents back and forth. Then came email, then came texting, and now we can do uh, video conferencing and things like that. So there are no excuses to not communicate. It's not always what you say, but how you say it. If the conversation is not necessarily going in the direction you want it to go, someone may be losing their temper a little bit. It's, it's not what you say, but how you say it, and that starts to come through. And it's important to not respond and escalate, but to try to keep your calm. All this comes down to what we consider tone. And tone is comprised of several different things. In a public speaking environment, we call this vocal variety. In a conversation, in, in everyday communication, we translate it as tone. So pace, volume, inflection, and all this adds up to attitude. That's the interpretation from the communication. It's attitude. Uh, let's face it, if we're dealing with customers, you know, I asked how many people went out to eat. If you had a great time, you probably told three or four of your friends. If you had a horrible time, you probably told 20 of your friends, right? So mean what you say, say what you mean, because people are going to remember that transaction. And uh, you know, in, in any, whether it's a public speaking environment or, or a small group communication, it's a transactional process. And it's going to go both ways.